first drops of Thai milk emerged from the hearts and minds of His Majesty King Bumipon Adudyadet Ramad Knight and Her Majesty Queen Sirikit during their state visit to Denmark. The King was greatly intrigued by the dairy farming business and foresaw that dairy farming would provide nutritious foods for Thai people and economic stability for dairy farmers. After the Thai king and queen returned to the country, the Danish government and its people jointly presented a project to the Thai monarch. The legend of the Thai dairy business then began. After a committee surveyed the area, they found more than 3,000 rye of land alongside Mitropap Highway at kilometer 140 in Saraburi district was suitable for the first Thai dairy farm development. An agreement was signed between the governments of Thailand and Denmark on October the 20th, 1961. The Danish government was willing to support and participate in the operation of the farm by entrusting Mr. Neil Gunnar Sandergaard to be the first director of the farm. That was the beginning of the landscape reclamation and the construction of the farm building 1962 and training centers for dairy farming. The first milestone in the history of Thai dairy began when His Majesty King Bumipon Adulide, Rama IX and King Frederick IX of Denmark and Queen Ingrid jointly presided over the opening ceremony of the Thai Danish dairy farm and the training center at the farm building 1962 on January the 16th, 1962. After the opening ceremony, the breeding bull Ole and 39 Dennis Reed breeders arrived in Thailand. The building of the training center for dairy farming, so-called Red Tower, was at the time completed. The first mission in personnel training, called Farm Students, was started. Those students would have to stay on the farms throughout the first year to learn about the system of farm management and to undertake intensive practice to improve skills for their careers. Another main task of the Thai Danish dairy farm at an early stage was to do research and development into raw milk processing to be sold in the market. A new technique was undertaken in 1964 by flowing the raw milk through the chilling process and then storing it in aluminium cooling tanks. Soon after, pasteurized milk in a glass jar was initiated. In 1968, the milk pouches packing machine was imported. A significant development occurred in 1976 when the dairy plant at Saraburi province successfully produced the first carton of UHT milk. By heating milk to a high temperature for a short period of time and packing it in a standard carton, this process could extend the shelf life, whereas the taste and nutritional value remained the same. In the ninth year of management, the Danish government handed over the ownership to the royal Thai government. Dr. Jod Watanasin then became the first Thai director. With the royal grace of King Bumibon Adulide, Rama IX, the Thai Danish dairy farm was granted a decree establishing a state-run enterprise named the Dairy Farming Promotion Organization of Thailand, or DPO under the Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperatives from August the 31st, 1971. 1987 was an auspicious year. Throughout the past 60 years of the reign of King Pumipon Adulyadeh, Rama IX, 
and 25 years in the business of the Thai Danish dairy farm. The National Dairy Day had become a regular festival. Later, on the 22nd of December 1987, the cabinet approved the 17th of January every year as the National Dairy Day in remembrance of His Majesty King Bumibonadulyade Rama the Ninth, who devoted himself to dairy farmers and the Thai people. Dairy farming is a royally granted career for sustainable occupations. From the start of the farming business to its 55th year today, the DPO in its endeavours to achieve and continuously promote farmers has provided training courses for knowledge management in order to raise standards of all dairy farms and how to produce raw milk in compliance with the Department of Livestock Development's GAP standard. They also offer veterinary services and artificial insemination facilities. DPO is the first agency in the ASEAN region to be able to assess the genetic inheritance of the breeding cattle, which is recognized internationally. They further carried on research and development on TMR, which is a method of feeding cows that combines concentrates, roughage, vitamins and minerals to an optimum ratio. That leads to a healthy cow, an increase in milk production and thereby a cost saving in the dairy operations of the farmers. Additionally, there is a plan to develop the territory of Thai Danish dairy farming in Murklek district to be a valley of the dairy industry, comprising DPO Milk Valley, for research and development and the Dairy Academy, as a training institution to promote careers in the dairy business and to provide knowledge to the farmers, coupled with the development of new generation promoters. Every drop of milk received from farmers must be inspected by the dairy cooperatives and the DPO's technical experts before entering the dairy processing plants. The DPO's plants are located in provinces across the country, including Saraburi, Chiang Mai, Pratarap Kiri Khan, Kongken and Sukhothai. It is expected to expand into suitable new regions in the future. There are also plans to produce dairy products under the Thai Danish brand name in cooperation with competent dairy cooperatives or interested members of the private sector in the near future. Each plant of the DPO is certified to international standards. They are managed to improve in loss reduction and to optimize efficiency of the machines to support the increasing volumes of raw milk. In the past, only 60 kilograms of raw milk could be obtained per day, while the raw milk received today reaches 600 tons per day, which is a 10,000-fold increase in volume. It can be said that the DPO is number one in the UHT market, with a sales value over 8 billion baht and expected to become the leader in the AEC markets, with 10 billion baht of total revenue in the year 2021. DPO can produce a variety of milk products using 100% fresh milk without milk powder mix. The products include UHT, pasteurized milk, drinking yogurts, yogurt, ice cream, as well as organic products produced from the DPO's organic farms under the Morganic brand. Another role of the DPO is to encourage youth in Thailand to drink good quality milk. In the year 1992, the government initiated a school milk program in order to promote the health of the students, along with support for the use of raw milk production under the government's dairy promotion program. The DPO thereby acts as a centre for the program to manage, monitor and ensure the quality of milk. 
The DPO itself is one of the entrepreneurs participating in the program. Today, with the advancements in information management systems, DPO has been awarded as an outstanding enterprise for the second consecutive year and aims to develop its performance to the Class B enterprise standard. From dairy farms to agro-tourism, the fertile lands covering extensive territory in the Mooklet district are full of history. In addition to the dairy farm and Thailand's first training center for dairy farming, there is also agro-tourism, welcoming visitors to study the history of dairy farming. Welcoming visitors to study the history of the dairy farming livelihood, to learn about farm management, and to enjoy activities provided by the National Farming Centre. For those seeking adventure, there are the fresh springs, thrilling horse riding, cattle restraining shows, and the chance to touch the beauty of nature. Every drop of milk produced by the DPO is full of value. You will be proud of every drink you take. All of these are in continuation of the royal wish of His Majesty King Bhumibana Duliadate, Rama the Ninth, which was reflected in his speech that, quote, Dairy farming is a great career for Thai people, good for the country, and if proper techniques are applied, it will bring prosperity and a good income, end quote. To maintain dairy farming professions in continuation of the royal wish of His Majesty the King, our Royal Highness Princess Mahachakri Sirinpur has delivered a speech saying, quote, This dairy farming is a career given by the father, so we will be facing up to the challenges in order that this livelihood always continues in the Thai country. End quote. For our DPO, our farmers, and the Thai people, together we have sustainable growth for the future. 55 years of Thai Denmark milk the Thai's national milk.